So Dad, what are we sewing now? So today we're going to do onions, main crop onions. And so it's nice to start these nice and early, kind of February time. And I like to sow them three or four seeds to each of these module cells. And hopefully three or four will germinate, ideally three because I think three seems to provide the best balance of kind of size. So you get medium sized onions, but you get a really nice big yield. Mm -hmm. And we're gonna sow them about a centimeter deep. So again, we just wanna firm this compost down. And then refill. Okay, so we're putting them in one centimetre deep. Yeah, just I just use my fingernail. Okay. So when you sew these, mm -hmm. I like to just pick a pinch between my fingers and then just kind of just roll my fingers until I get three or four in. And if you get just a few too many, you know, it's not a problem because you could go up to five seeds in here with uh, with no issues. So, although I'm av av looking for a sort of average of four, if I got the odd few with three, it would be no problem. So just cover those over, hand smooth them in, and we'll give them a really good water. So onions, they germinate over a really wide range of temperatures. So, you know, sort of right down to sort of five degrees to mid twenties. So you can pretty much germinate if you want. I like to germinate them about 18 degrees. So dad, why have we brought these from home? Well, these now, they're about, uh, I don't know, probably 10 days old, something like that. They're just starting to germinate. And, you know, this time of year, sort of March time, it's nice really, I think, to get them somewhere bright and cooler because if they were sort of in a house, there's not enough light mm -hmm. and they do just tend to sort of get really leggy and floppy. Okay. But in a nice cool place, they grow slower. So uh, yeah, perfect timing. Right. So are these the onions that we planted last month? No, these are the ones we started back in February, beginning of February. Uh, so these are now ready and you see a nice little bit of root growth on those, but they're not pot bound. And we've got four seedlings in each module, mm -hmm. which is just fine. So is this where we're planting the onions? Yeah, and uh, this is the bed that we had previously had the carrots and um, we had it interplanted with lettuces. Okay. So... Perfect, so are we going to prepare it first? Yeah, and because it just had carrots in, yeah. and so they carrots don't really need much in the way of fertiliser, this bed is not very well fertilized, so I'm just gonna put a little bit of blood fish and bone down, just a sprinkle. Mm -hmm. And then we're gonna mulch it with well-rotted cow manure. Okay. It looks like there's a couple left in this bed. Let's pull them out before we put them in. So this about two inches here of well-rotted cow manure and it's a lovely mulch and it's sterile so we really shouldn't get too many weeds establishing in it and uh, all we need to do is just dib our holes in here. I like to dib about um, 70 plants in a square meter and these beds are about two square meters so we'll work out what that means in a minute seeds per 70 seedlings per square meter so we want to do 70 divided by three okay 
23. Okay, so we're going to go for 25 modules per square metre. Okay. So we're going to do five by five. So five. Find the centre. The centre. Find the centre. And then five the other way. Find the centre. Find the centre. So with onions, I like to give them a balanced feed. So that's why I gave them that blood fish and bone. And that's kind of ideal because there's a bit of nitrogen in it, which gets the onion started and gives them a lot of good leaf growth. And they don't start to bulb until about the middle of May. And by that time, you want, you know, it's quite good leaf growth on them enough to support sort of rapid bulbing but not too much nitrogen otherwise you just get too much leaf growth and so obviously we don't want that because we want bulbs as well and once we've got these planted we're going to cover them with a bit of fleece because there's still frosts in our future here and the more frosts onions and seedlings are exposed to the greater the risk of them going to seed. So when I'm planting these, I like to plant them about an inch down, maybe a little bit deeper, so that they're just kind of at the level of the original soil and well below the mulch level. And the reason I like to do that is because I like to get the roots deep down where there's more access to water but also I like these little depressions that I've created here because these kind of trap the water as well. And again, in a dry summer, they improve the hydration of the roots. So we've got about 400 seedlings in here at the moment. And I'm just firming them in with two fingers like that. And I'll be thinning these down to three seedlings and eating the spares as salad onions in uh, about a month's time. It's worth doing it that way, just because if anything, if any of them fail, then uh, we've still got three seedlings. So it is going to rain tomorrow, but I am just going to settle them in with a little bit of water because the rain is never as intense as a watering can. Netting it up now, keep them nice and warm and particularly, you know, just protect them a little bit from the wind. And we just pull it nice and tight. and then we'll clip down the sides. So Dad, how tight does the net need to be? Uh, I like to put it quite nice and taut because when it gets wet, it does sag down a bit. Yeah. And when I see the onions, kind of the tips of the onions kind of pushing through the net, yeah. that's the point at which I'll take it off, right. which will be about mid-May. So do you remember Tess who said, once these onions start touching the top of the net, it's yep. time to take the net off. Yeah. So it's that time. It's been about five weeks. And there's no risk of frost now. And those are looking really nice. They look great. So you probably remember that I said we wanted three in each of these yeah and right now we've got four yeah and these are a bit small really to take as salad onions at the moment but if we were to take them out you basically put your fingers around that and then just pull that one out ah, perfect. so we'll just do another one of those just put your fingers around the ones you want just hold the compost down and then just pull it out 
and uh, then you eat them. Amazing. How much do these onions need watering now at this stage? They don't need a huge amount until, until they start bulbing. Um, they're going to start bulbing sort of about the end of this month, so we're sort of middle of May at the moment. They'll really start to bulb a little bit okay. in June. And I would probably give them, in my sandy soil, probably about a watering can per square metre. Yeah. And I'd do that every two weeks, probably, uh, if there's been no rain. Yeah, so these onions are coming on well. Yeah. But there's still a long way to go. So yeah. it's the end of May now. These are just starting to bulb up, just the first signs. Yeah. But, you know, obviously we've run out of onions now. So that's why we do the overwintered onions, which we've got over here. Yeah. So whereas those, what we call main crop onions, we start those in February. Yeah. These we start sort of back August, September time. Yeah. And then we plant these out in October so that these are ready for harvest effectively now all the way through. And then we can eat these uh, until the others are ready in August. But these are looking really lovely, aren't they? They are. They look really good. And it's a good illustration, really, of how those others are going to end up, you know, planted in threes. Yeah. And they kind of just push themselves apart. Oh, yeah. And you just get lovely little onions and they'll keep on bulbing and you know to get bigger and bigger yeah. until about july and then they'll be finished but you can eat them now yeah they look great so we've harvested these uh overwintered onions now these are the tough ball and left them out here on the wood chip path to dry and they've actually only been on here for about a week and they're already dry. That just shows you how incredibly dry the weather has been. So I'm going to move these inside now uh, for about another week and then I'll get them processed. But yeah, pretty pleased with that harvest. <laughs> 